What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all yeah, boys. And today we're going to go ahead and review a special player because I absolutely love reviewing this man every single year in FIFA. It's going to be that 96 rated greats of the game icon Vidic. We are looking at cards 6-3 on the hype, medium high work rates, 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot with that right foot. Acceleration type is mostly length, the 88 pace, 82 shooting, 77 passing, 80 dribbling. 99 defending 97 physicality as well now the play styles that mr vintage comes with is power header anticipate block jockey relentless acrobatic and aerial all on basic the three play styles on gold are bruiser slide tackle and intercept as well now when you're looking at mr vintage right here there's only one camp style to give him maybe two engine or catalyst but the main thing you want to boost up is the acceleration because sprint speed at 92 is pretty good acceleration 83 not so good at this stage of the game so with the catalyst acceleration 91 sprint speed gets maxed out passing obviously gets boosted up a little bit as well but look at the defending category everything for the most part is 99 in the defending category that is absolutely insane with that 99 strength 96 aggression as well what i also like from vintage is that he has a combination of 80 agility 84 balance with that jockey playstyle on basic. I expect this man's jockeying to be top tier, even though he is 6'3 on the height. Now, Mr. Vidic is going to be playing with this amazing team right here. Shout out to the homie Dre Savo for lending us the account in a 4 3 2 1 formation. As a left center back, right next to that team this season, Virgil van Dyke. I changed my mind. We're going to be playing Vidic as a right center back. Now, by the time I'm recording this video late Monday afternoon, Vidic is over 1 million coins, which is quite surprising because usually Vidic doesn't really hold on to his price because not a lot of people raid Vidic in EFC 24. This year, we haven't gotten a special version of Vidic. I think it's been a few, uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since we got a good Vidic. I don't know if we got a single good one earlier this year. Maybe there was an SBC. I don't really remember off the top of my head. But this card, this card looks absolutely insane. I just hope the acceleration is not a major con with the car because everything else is looking top tier we're gonna play some games in foot champs and see if this vintage cracks the top 10 best center backs at this stage of the game all right here we go with game number one pace to win let's see this guy's team um eh, it's kind of mid at the same time it's okay like he has a good attack but the defense in the midfield is whatever Go Vidic with a nice tackle. Oof. Good start to the video, man. Lovely stuff. A little heavy, but not terrible with the turning. Nice ball. Nice interception right there. Good pass. Vidic with a nice way to deflect that pass. Oof. Since he is 6-3. Good tackle. Nice and clean versus Barcola, boys. Nice defense versus OC man. Nice tackle once again. A little bit of an LBY, but that defensive AI of Vidage doing a good job stopping that. Beautiful defense, boys. Nice block from Vidage. Good defense. Nice and clean to not commit a pen. Nice 
Nice interception, bro. Him being 6'3 is insane. Nice. Good defense. Good one on one defending from Vidic. Oh, it's going to be a good test. Is he going to catch up to Timo Werner that has that 90 plus pace? Good job right there defensively. It's going to be a good test defensively. Let's see what we can do here. Vidic, good tackle. Lovely stuff as expected. Nice interception and a good pass. Nice block once again from the card. Good physicality to body off Timo Werner, boys. Beautiful pass with the Y ball. To stop that defensive jockeying, he was able to stop Werner. That was nice. Good tackle. Nice. Good defense. Good header, good defense once again from the card. Oof, nice tackle versus that Davies. Good tackle. Bodies easily that team in the season, Hemp. That's just way too easy, man. That is just way too easy. Bruh. This vintage. Oh, man. A freak of nature. A little bit of the turning right there from Mr. Vintage. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 96 rated greats of the game Icon Vintage. Coming on 1.1 million coins by the time I'm recording this video late Monday afternoon. 1.1 million coins on the PC market. We played four games with the card and four wins with Mr. Vintage as a CB. Now, I will say that this Vintage is absolutely insane. He's top tier, boys. Vintage is indeed back. So let's go over the pros. With this man because there's only one thing that's not exactly perfect aside from that aside from that one thing everything else from this card works out exceptionally well so number one medium high work rates great work rates for cb you combine those medium high work rates with the 99 defensive awareness so you already know that defensive positioning on this card is absolutely a one next thing that i absolutely love from this card is the combination of the four star skimmos and the five star weak foot. Not only does this card have five star weak foot, he can literally pass with either foot with the 87 short pass going up to 91, 82 long pass going up to 90 with the catalyst chem style. If you love center backs that are able to pass out the back, Vidage is 1000% your man. Now we talked about the passing, but let's go over the defending and the physicality because we mainly know that Vidage every single year in FIFA is mainly known for his amazing physicality and defensive AI, but I'm sorry guys, but this Vidic, his defensive AI and his defending and his physicality, it's up there. It's up there with Rio, it's up there with Van Dyke, it's up there with the top tier center backs. 97 interceptions, 99 on the defensive awareness, stand tackling and strength, 96 aggression, 98 slide tackling combination with the slide tackle placed on gold, intercept on gold, bruiser on gold, anticipate block and jockey on basic so not only does this man vintage have every single defending play style in the book his play styles in the defending category are really really good you guys saw when it comes to one-on-one -on -one defending nothing is cooking this card especially if you're using a female like sophia smith lauren james maybe not lauren james well i put lauren james in that conversation alex morgan the weaker females in afc 24 
Vidic, all he has to do, put a nice little shoulder. He's going to win that ball 10 times out of 10. Just absolutely overpowered the way this man is able to win the ball super easily. It has so much to do with that bruiser on goal, top tier, basically maxed out, defending and physicality. His body type and being 6'3", that is a major pro, guys. I love tall CBs in EFC 24, and him being 6'3", checks that box right there. Next thing that I did like from the card as well was the defensive jockeying. I was a little bit concerned that this Vidish jockeying was not going to be top tier. I knew it was going to be good, but I thought it wasn't going to be on the same level like a Van Dyke or those top tier center backs, and I was wrong. His jockeying is absolutely amazing. 80 agility. 84 balance, 95 reactions, and the jockey playstyle on basic. So he's very quick on his feet defensively. But I will say there is one thing from this vintage that isn't exactly perfect. And it's not really a con, it's in the mixed category for me. So the jockeying is good, and sometimes it's able to compensate that acceleration. The 83 acceleration isn't bad. But come on, guys, the majority of center backs at this stage of the game that are considered top tier have probably 86, 87 plus acceleration. Obviously, we gave this man vintage the catalyst chem style. It goes up to 91, but still, you guys know what I'm trying to say. I still think he doesn't get LB wide or Y ball like his past versions this year in FC 24. And I still think this vintage is better than most center backs in EFC 24. Obviously, He's not top five whatsoever, but this might sound crazy to some people. I do consider this vintage to be a contestant for a top 10 CB in the game. Yes, because his defending, perfect. His physicality, perfect. Play styles, absolutely amazing. Jockeying defensively, basically perfect if not damn near. Passing, amazing with the five-star weak foot. Pace, sprint speed is perfect. Acceleration is Hit or miss. Hit or miss. I didn't experience this Vidage getting LB wide or Y ball, but I saw certain plays where Vidage, if you pull him out of position, he's not necessarily going to get that explosiveness to come back and reach the attacker in time, like uh, Team of the Season Bizic or a Team of the Season Araujo or those center backs with 87 plus pace, right? That's what I'm trying to say. For those of you guys that try out this 96 Vidage, let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this center back? Do you guys think he's top 10 in the game? And what do you guys think about his acceleration? Do you guys think it's a major con? Or you don't really notice the acceleration being a negative factor with the car? Because some people may say that acceleration is good where it's at. Now, this 96 vintage greats of the game icon is going to get a thumbs up for me. And he's going to get a rating of a 9 out of 10. A huge fan of him. And if you guys do want to acquire him or... If you guys do pack this card, and if you don't have any of the top tier center backs like Saliba, Ruben Diaz, Van Dyke, or Rio, definitely consider starting this vintage because I know a lot of people are going to be very highly slept on this card because it's vintage, and vintage is usually not known to being top tier. But guys, look at the stats on the card, look at the play styles, and you guys will notice in game. How good he plays thank you guys so much for the support in all the videos you guys are absolutely amazing i don't know what's the order i'm dropping these videos but for today tuesday it's vintage walker balak alvarez and frankie the young so five videos for today's tuesday enable those notifications if you guys haven't already drop a like in this video if you guys are enjoying the fifa content until next time it's been your boy dan fifa i am out bye bye